Hello, family. Our movie begins with a young woman named Alice and a man named Dan on a busy morning in London. He notices the young woman among the commuters waiting to cross the street. He is impressed by her attractiveness as they begin to stare and grin at each other. She retains his stare for a brief minute before being struck by a black cab. He drags her into a hospital while she waits for her turn. They enjoy coffee together and get to know each other. It reveals that Dan is a journalist who writes obituaries for his local newspaper. Then, they were walking back from the hospital. Dan shows her about London and he is aware that Alice is an American who has traveled from New York and wishes to stay in London. He informs her that he became an obituaries journalist. as they appear to be getting to know one another as it unfolds. She begins to feel more at ease with him and admits that she is a stripper. She also informs him that she has fled New York and break the relationship. They then proceed to Dan's office, leaving Alice alone, but he pulls away when she asks if he has a girlfriend. Yes, her name is Ruth. He responds, Dan has written a novel based on Alice's life a year later while being photographed to advertise it at an affair with Anna, an American photojournalist. They exchange kisses till the doorbell rings. Alice has just arrived to take him up. He invites her in to meet his photographer. They then get to know one another. While Alice is the bathroom, Dan attempts to persuade Anna to have an affair with him but their chat is cut short when Alice leaves, and Alice requests that Anna photograph her. He begins to photograph her, and they begin to converse. It demonstrates that Alice is no longer a stripper and works as a waitress. Meanwhile, Anna is divorced with no children. Then Alice tells Anna that she overheard them talking. She is taken aback and defends herself while being photographed. Alice screams as she turns around. A year later, Dan enters a cyber and starts a sex chat room with a random guy. Larry is a British dermatologist who is still thinking about Anna. Dan impersonates her. He invites Larry to meet him at the aquarium and requests that he dresses in a white coat. Larry visits London Aquarium, where he encounters Anna by happenstance and presents himself directly while she is perplexed. They converse until she asks him, have we met before? And he, resp he recognizes her from the chat room. Larry is now aware that he has been the victim of a prank, and Anna and them that it must be Dan, a guy who likes her, most likely responsible for the humor. She starts telling him who Dan is. They speak as they go down London Street. She begins to photograph him. Then he mentions her birthday. He walks gently to a balloon vendor, purchases a balloon, and gives it to her. Alice is adamant about going to Dan's father's funeral. She believes he no longer loves her, and he believes he simply wants to be alone for a moment. Later that night, they both go to Anna's show while she examines her photograph. A man then approaches her. It's Larry, whom he recognizes from the photograph of her in tears that's on display. He inquires about her thoughts on the exhibition, and she responds, but the people in the images are so lonely and alone that the world transforms them into something beautiful. As a result, the show is reassuring, which is a lie, and he identifies himself as well as her boyfriend which is another indicator. Dan continues to urge Anna to join him. She also informs him that her boyfriend was a person he used to mess around with in the chat room. Dan, it's difficult to believe. They start to move away. Dan will take the train to his father's burial. He returns inside just to meet Anna as Larry notices them both. He forces her to tell Larry the truth about her feelings. She clarifies by stating that it was a falsehood. He then takes off. Larry's being sarcastic about Anna and Dan. He claims to be greater than him, and Anna responds to him by saying something horrible. But she begins to see the light. She apologizes and hugs him. Alice was fast asleep on the sofa. Dan has returned home. Then Alice wants to know where he has been. He tells the truth, despite the fact that painful for her, he's been with Anna for a year since the day of the show, and he believes he loves her. She is packing her belongings and getting ready to leave when she asks him for an explanation. It demonstrates that Dan has even brought Anna to their apartment. She cries and refuses to believe it. Why is he being so harsh to her? He is such a selfish person which is why he prohibits her from going. Meanwhile, Larry has just returned home from a business. He is pleased to see Anna, who has already been wife. He misses her and then kisses her. He got her a gift, but something is wrong with her feelings. She feels like she wants to chat about something but doesn't know what to say. Finally, Larry confesses to his affair while on a work trip and sleeping with a hooker, but Anna doesn't seem to mind, and Larry believes that forcing her to tell the truth is wrong. She says she is having an affair with Dan and requests a divorce from him. Larry is taken aback by what she said, and he cries as she tries to comfort him. He begins to question her, 
which appears to make her uncomfortable. What happened to him? Is he greater than him? Did he seduce her? And he became frustrated trying to answer his questions. Larry then expresses his displeasure with what she has done and urges her to leave or even die. Larry walks into the strip club one day and sees Alice become a stripper again. He goes on a rampage over her service. He flirts with her and wants her to show him her abilities, after which he offers her to make an affair, but she refuses since it is against the rules. After that, he requests her to remove her clothes and expose her entire body. She begins to swirl around and perform her moves. Is a stripper appropriate? She does everything he wants. Larry and Anna of meet. She requests that he sign their divorce papers. She grabs the papers and he notices their wedding band still on her finger. He says he still loves her and begs her to return. Then he pleads with her until she agrees to have one kiss with him so that he can sign papers and leave her alone. They kiss at Larry's clinic. He keeps his word and signs the papers. Anna and Dan eventually meet after she tells him the divorce papers have been signed. Dan discovered had an affair with Larry. She claims she did it to entice him to leave them alone. However, he is upset and does not trust her. She persuades him that it was all in vain. True love is just for Dan. To which he responds, all I see is him all over you. Later, a heartbroken Dan confronts Larry in an attempt to gain access to the back room. He claims that Anna has made a decision because Dan grows enraged and threatens to murder him if he continues to try to rape Anna. He also claims that he slept with her in order to make him suffer. Dan then tears in front of Larry as he proceeds to give him some suggestions on how to get Alice back. He provides him with Alice's workplace address. Larry attacks Dan before he departs by saying he slept with Alice. He is taken aback and flees. As they begin to stare at each other, Dan is unable to say anything. He returns with her. They appear to be content together. Dan out of nowhere and confronts her. Did he watch you strip? Alice responds, yes. He can't accept the truth and goes out to get the cigarette. And when he returns to tell him the truth, he returns with a flower for her and she declares that she no longer loves him. She informs him that if she slept with Larry all night and enjoyed it because he heard everything she said, he would be extremely furious. He's perplexed as to why she did that. Larry asked Alice respectfully, and she replied that she desired him. Dan apologizes, but Alice says that it's all done and orders him to leave. He is furious till he slaps her. Alice returns to New York City by herself. The amusing part is that her real name is Jane Jones, not Alice. It means she lied about her name for the entire year she was with Dan. Back with Larry feels empty on the other side. This is how our movie ends. Leave us a comment on how you found this movie recap. See you in the next movie recap. We hope that you enjoy your time and have a good day.